Now we're going to talk about how to perform online password attacks against live network services using Hydra. If we enter Hydra at the command line, you can see the various uses and syntax of this tool. And as you can see, there's a lot of different options for attack configuration here. In addition to that, if you scroll down towards the bottom, you'll see a list of all of the different supported protocols. These are all of the different services that you could potentially run a Hydra attack against. And then at the bottom, you'll see some examples of different commands that could be used. So for our demonstration, we are going to perform a password attack against the FTP service running on port 21 on our Windows system here. So I'll use the ls command to list the contents of my current directory. And here I've created a text file of some commonly used FTP usernames. My plan is to use this text file in combination with the rockyou.txt password dictionary file in Kali in order to perform a comprehensive password attack against this FTP service. So to do this, we'll use the command Hydra, then capital L, and then the file name for our username text file, then capital P, and then the location of our rockyou.txt dictionary file. then the IP address of our target system, and then the service that we want to attack, so in this case FTP. Immediately this will return information about the attack to include the number of concurrent tasks that are going to be performed, in this case 16, and then also the number of attempts that are going to be required in order to complete the entire attack. In this case we're looking at 71,721,995 attempts. Hydra will also periodically report back information about the progress of the attack. Here we can see that at the one minute mark, we are performing 461 attempts per minute. It will also indicate an estimated amount of time that will be required to complete the attack based on this rate of attack. Finally, after some time has passed, we have managed to break one of our FTP user accounts after approximately 7 minutes and 3,420 attempts. You can also perform a traditional brute force attack in Hydra that will attempt every possible password combination within a specified parameter. To see more information on how to do this, enter the command hydra-x-h and this will clarify how to configure your brute force attack with minimum, maximum, and character set values. So to perform our brute force attack against our FTP service, we'll use the command Hydra, then lowercase l, and then the specific account that we want to perform the attack against, in this case root, and then dash x to specify our brute force attack, and then our minimum value of 4, maximum value of 6, and a lowercase a to indicate lower case alphabetic characters only, and then our target IP address, and then the service that we want to perform the attack against. And because of the simplicity of this password, this one is quickly returned with a login ID of root and a password of able. So that's how to perform both a dictionary attack and a brute force attack on live network services using Hydra.